All right, everyone, this is Richard Cespedes, and we're done with Zombies Ate My Neighbors for the SNES. Now, this is just um, the ending. It shows the fireworks. It displays that you are the winner. And it's an awesome ending. Awesome little tidbit to the Monsters Among Us. This is the credit level. You walk up to... Um, there's some bad guys in here. You gotta save, you know, the victims again. But this level is just for fun. It's a credit level. See right here. You walk up to to the uh, to the, to producers and the the creators of the game. They're all sitting around the desk and standing around. <clears throat> See, there goes that dark transition again. Awesome work. It's just for fun, it's just, it's just like a, like I said, they did an awesome, it's a very unique way to roll the credits, when exactly there is no credits rolling, you're just kind of like, living the credits, it's a credit level, you know, walk up and talk to the creators of the game, get to know their, what they did and, the, and their names, so, uh, it's very interesting and very unique, and I haven't seen nothing like it in any game. I haven't seen nothing like it in any game since then. The 20th century had a lot of nuggets, a lot of gold nuggets in terms of uh, uniqueness and passion and talent displaying in what they did. I like the way they did this guy right here. Holding up these different craters. Blah. Another password, blah. Puppets, the heads, yeah, it's very humorous. The different craters as puppets. And that guy is like a walrus body or something. They just, they just messed around with it, you know. The guy with the big muscles. This game was very well worth beating. And defeating. Because it, it was just a... Uh, it just shows the passion of the creators of the game, you know. It's a very unique thing. Unique experience. And those wild tentacles were never in the um, regular stages, and they appear in this one. Jack in the box head over there. The chi later cheering for the producers and the creators. Little mini 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 boss. And the dog. The dog. That skeleton is not part of the crew. They must have just left him in there to die because he probably sucked as a game maker. And it's cool they had the Lucas Arts posters right there. I didn't notice that before. Final showdown. This is the final showdown right here. Oh, he's gone. And we're out. Gonna put in my name. R I C K Y. Ricky.
Ricky Cespedes. Ricky C. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in that password that they gave us. Blar. Blar. Or what is it? Tricking y'all. This password actually. See, I'm a sly guy too. See, this password actually um takes you to a bonus level, Day of the Tentacle, where you fight all the tentacles. It's like a toxic -y kind of a uh, level. It's just fun. Go up here. Grass is very, very, very dead. And it's very unnatural to have these corpse reviving Cryoxon or whatever the zombie liquid is. Cryoxon, whatever it is from Night Living Dead 3. No, just hack just those barrels and then having those. You know, like a two cemetery kind of two graves there. But it's all in the name of fun. Jump right in that green dude. Have some small people in those things as suits. It's a good way to save keys by blasting the walls. One more. Going all Baywatch saving that guy in the pool. A one up, huh? Not gonna need it. And there we go. Everybody, thank you. Thank you all for watching. I had fun playing this game. It's a childhood game. Finally beat it after playing it a few hours. Got clever. This is Ricky Cespedes. Thank you all for watching. God bless.